coming up on this episode of Common Denominator. When she makes a mistake, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, I'll fix it. I make, what's <laughs> wrong with you? Yeah. Are you serious? Come on, get it together. <laughs> no, but... Hi, and welcome to Common Denominator, where we focus on human connection and what brings us together. I'm Moshe Popak, and today, how to become a digital content creator. My guests are the husband and wife internet sensations, Steve and Lisa Costa. They've got hundreds of thousands of followers on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, and their content often goes viral. We'll find out how they do it, how they monetize it, and how they work together without driving each other crazy. Before we play the interview, a quick reminder that if you like the show, please subscribe and follow me on social media at mpopak. Now, here's my conversation with Steve and Lisa Costa. Enjoy. Hi, Steve. Hi, Lisa. And welcome to Common Denominator. Hey, thank you. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you for having us. Here. Yes. Take us back to, I guess, almost a year now when the original thought of kind of, I guess, starting this amazing brand that you guys have on TikTok and Instagram and other social media platforms. What was uh, kind of that, that conversation and how did it actually begin? So I think it just started out for something, you know, for fun that we would do in the afternoons or when we had nothing to do. You know, we scheduled date night and we, we saw her because we both like music and dance and comedy. So we watched, you know, you sit down and no one's really watching TV today. They're watching TikTok. And so we like, hey, we could try that. And we did one or two. We fumbled a little bit and then we started having a lot more fun with it. And then it just took off on a completely different path that where where we are today and it's, it's right. been a lot of fun for us and i always think you know just as far as you know i always think about common denominator everybody loves music and everybody loves comedy you know, and i just like always think about that is there is there music or dancing background did you guys study any any dancing take lessons or classes or just just for fun well in no, the, it, Steven's a very good dancer. Yes, yeah, <laughs> Steven's dancing skills is how Steven met Lisa. There so, you go. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, so I'm very proud of that. Um, so how did you guys meet, by the way? <laughs> so, I mean, it's 21 years ago. Um, mm. Try to happen in New York. And I was proud that I was called up. I worked down at Ground Zero from September 13th to about November 1st. So my company says, hey, thank you for doing such a good job. We appreciate your service. Take some time off and go to Orlando. So I travel to Orlando and we go to this bunch of men where we go out and we go to this, this dance bar and I see this beautiful woman that I saw, him, oh my God. And I'm like, oh, I want to talk to her. Hmm. And so all the guys are like, hey, go talk to her, approach her. So I, I go ask her, hey, can I, would you like to dance? And Miss Cogeniali over here says, hey, you got to buy me a drink first. Hmm. And I'm like, drink? I asked you if you wanted to dance. And I said, hey, I'll, I'll make a deal with you because I was Joe New York at the time and Rico Suave danced out, ready to go. I said, hey, listen, you and your girlfriends, if I'm not the best dancer you've ever been with, you and your girlfriends drink all night long on me. But if I am, have dinner with me tomorrow night. Yeah. Take her on the dance floor, Ricky Martin around all over the place, and 21 years later and two kids, we're sitting in your studio. Beautiful. Wow. No, I always, I always think, um, you know, people see, you know, I always ask that question. What is it, if you were to sum up, you know, because that, that is something for me. I'm married almost 18 years, 10 kids. Congratulations. No, I think, thank you. Thank yes. you. So what is it, what, what advice would you say you would want to give from your own journey, uh, you know, that, that people can have a key takeaways going into marriage? Like I think uh, going into marriage or people that are married, you know, kind of high level because you always, you know, seem to have fun on all your social media and all your stuff. What are kind of you know, a couple of key, key points. Well, I think w what works for us, everyone has their own thing that works for them, but what works for us was, is our communication. We talk about everything. 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 I, I'm the husband where you tell me, Steve, can you keep a secret? Absolutely correct. She's going to know. So <laughs> it's just, but we, and, and I make think, time for each other. Yeah, we, we do. We, we make time for even each other. with our two boys. We always have date night and we always try to spend time with one another. Right. So for us, that's been really important. No, I think that that's that's the most most valuable thing because I know I like I think about like my wife and I we're we're very different, but yet we have we have the similar similar goals, like the ultimate goals, and then and then if there's a mutual respect, right? You talk about communication. Yes. So you talk on it. 
right? So you keep talking, you keep keep talking on it, and then you have to. It's not always so serious, right? So you're going out dancing, right? You're going to watch ca- comedy, and you're coming up with you know some really you know really really cool stuff. What are some of the like top posts that you guys have posted that really kind of went viral? Oh, it was definitely find my phone. Oh yes, that that's what <laughs> I think started it. Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, there, there was a I comedian th- uh, we did. His name. Um, Steve, uh, what is his name? He'll come to me. So mm-hmm. it, we we did this bit of where's my phone? Because she, she's like, honey, call my phone, call my phone, mm-hmm. and it's like again, seriously again. And so that that one took off. Um, we did one for Christmas where oh that one that one was yes that one did take off and it was just it, none of it, we weren't even in the film. It mm-hmm. was basically an ornament thrown at the Christmas tree, and then. You know, I took my phone to the couch mm-hmm. and then brought it back up, and then and the whole de- house is decorated. decorated. So a lot of transitions um, right. really is what mm-hmm. sells um, all the reels and the TikToks. Yeah. And so from those two videos, we were approached by Facebook, say, "Hey, you're getting a lot of views on this. You should enter this this program." And we're like, "What?" And our profile was private at the time. We we were we were private. You couldn't find Steve Lee unless you you knew to search for us. So the only way to enter the program was if you made your your profile public. Public. So we were like, I don't know. We had maybe 300 followers, friends, families, maybe maybe 500, right? We know some people. But then within like 24 hours, we it jumped. It became 25,000. 25,000 in like 24 hours. Yes, yeah, so it did. Wow. Yeah. And that's, a, that's, that's, an amazing, that's an amazing job. And I think, I think you know, I want to, we're going to go to that, like practical tips soon for for people looking to monetize but when you got when you did this it was just purely for fun right and you didn't you weren't necessarily looking uh to monetize or to create any business no, no we we were just doing it for fun we we and we still do it for fun we right. we have we do it for fun but we, that's absolutely correct we just started it and like hey you want to do this today i'm like yeah, sure, I'll do this with you. Or we see a funny reel and we're like, that is so relatable. I mean, I think all of our reels have to be relatable to mm-hmm. us, you know, right. because then they don't come off as genuine or sincere. So that's a big thing. Because right, I see, you know, it's interesting, most successful businesses uh, always, and I always tell my kids even, you know, as they're, as they're starting to think about business and different things, it always is, it starts with a passion. Don't necessarily follow the money. Right, it's like okay, we're having fun, yes, and this is our this is our passion. Those things will come, and I and I and I notice that most of the time because you're doing you're doing what you love. It's like your hobby, you're enjoying it, and then energetically it kind of seems to come off that way, right? Yes. Oh. Yeah, right. I mean, people think sometimes what I think is funny is when we do a bit and we're not using our voices. It's it's a voiceover, whether it's from Friends or Seinfeld. And because we relate, people think the voices are ours. We actually get these comments that people think it's us, right. and but we relate to them and we have fun doing it. So it's been, I guess we we laugh about it, and we joke, and we this is what we try to do together. And at least you studied photography, or you yes, that's a passion uh, of yours. Yes, wedding photography, engagement photography, boudoir photography. And then the content is just. You guys edit it yourself, and oh, yes. you feel, yes. you oh, feel yes. good. It's not, it feels good to the both of you. Boom. Yeah. I always say, actually, my yeah. I'm sorry to mean to interrupt. Yeah, yeah. My youngest son Dominic, he he actually showed how to how to to use the what is it the cap cut cap cut this cap cut how to move things to around to get the filters and some of the animation sure. and changes. So we we'll practice with each other, and then we'll, we'll go in front Dominic. of our children <laughs> and it's like, hey, what do you think of this? And either they're going to tell us, mom, dad, what are you thinking? Right. Um, or this will look so much better. Yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. Let me put it into this app and, you know, do this transition. You know, our so they, they taught us a lot. Yeah, our oldest doesn't really want to get involved in it, but our youngest one does. And we've done a few yeah. videos uh, with with our youngest. And it yeah. becomes, like I said, it's a little bit of a family family fun time. And I'll tell you something. You know, you mentioned you mentioned about the kids. I, I know this sounds, this sounds way out of the box, but I actually think, and we see it, right? Adults, we were like, have to be so organized and so structured, but the most open and creative are the kids, right? So it's like uh, us adults have a lot to learn, and here's a perfect example from our from our kids, right? It's like oh no, society's gonna say it this way, and but meanwhile they're just free mm-hmm. and open and happy. Yes. Right. 
So and, I and I think being in front of the the, the camera actually helps them build their confidence mm -hmm. as yeah. well. And so I think that I mean I know it, it's helped build our confidence. Absolutely, yes. You know, being in front of the camera, and so I think it, there's another well, I aspect to with it. My as youngest, well. he he's he's doing his hair different. He wants to make sure because he yeah. sees mom and dad take time to you know dress up in the right way and. I think appearance is key, and so I'm, I'm proud that he, he does that. So and I know I know this kind of different general topics, some on fitness, dating, different trends that are going on. So let, let's just take, like, let's say, say fitness on the fitness side. Um, like, what's the general general routine and what kind of speaks to you guys as far as from the fitness perspective that you want to that you want to relay to the audience? You, you know, I think that um, there's a lot of women at home, that stay at home, that you know, um, want to start eating better, uh, working out. They really don't know where to start, um, and I think sh just showing people, you know, maybe some exercises, even just to get them motivated. Um, you know, I'm sure after COVID, every it was a depressing moment for everyone. So honestly, I think just bringing up people's spirits, and you know. You just got to keep moving and keep going. And, you know, um, I know that there's women that um, contact me all the time saying that, you know, thank you for posting because you've inspired me. I'm, I've lost 20 pounds. I've, you know, I'm eating better. Um, and honestly, I do it for that because I, I hate to see like a depressed woman or um, just, de you know, someone that doesn't just has given up I should say so I, I yeah. like giving them some inspiration no I think that that's I think that's amazing the the more the more the more we can do that the the better and I I even tell I even tell it to my wife I said you know I and I, I said it we had an interview just before and and I was saying that women have the power to move the entire world if they get together it's like forget about us men by the way oh. uh, I'm telling you that's right, and uh, and that's what it is. We just have to. They're just given a special intuition and ability. So, so yeah, that's that's that that's important, and they have to build their their self esteem and their and their ability. And um, and then what are what are some of the things as far as like dating, or is it is it dating for married couples or dating in general or different trends? That I, you, I think it's dating, Joe, because you know. I'm not an avid book reader, but you heard the same. Well, make sure you have time for each other. Make sure you, you still have time to date. And so I like when I try to date my wife, whether I we do a, a staycation and we'll, we'll go get a hotel room and I'll do the romantic flowers. And so I like when we do romantic things. And I know that's Definitely. one of her, quote, what, love language? Is that the love language? It is my love language. So, <laughs> so And I enjoy... <laughs> I enjoy a heart, big heart, by the way. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah. So, His is words of affirmation. Yeah. So yeah. just telling him, thank you. Um, you know, thank you so much for doing that. Or, you know, you relieved me from doing that errand that I needed mm. to do. That's that's big thing for him. Yeah, so, so. We, we do the date. And I think it's fun for us. So I think whether, you know, I'm, I, I'm a, I have some people that turn to me, whether it's my players now that are grown men, like, Coach, how, how do you do? And I'm like, you have to have make time to date. You still have to have fun and do things. So I try to set the example by, hey, look, this is what I do. Everyone wants to know what made me who I am today. And I tell people, even my sons, there are two types of people in the world. The I'm gonna or the I did. I'm gonna get a good job. I'm gonna get good grades. I'm gonna do good in sport. I'm gonna marry pretty late. I'm, go I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, or the I did guy. Well, I like to consider myself as the I did guy, yeah. and so I show my, my sons and my players how I did it and what I did to get to the where I'm at today. So I'm very blessed in my career, and I'm proud of it, and I got my best friend here, so we... And we, we and we both said, actually, on the way up here, that, um, you know, we evolved together throughout our marriage, and I think that is so key, whereas, you know, sometimes when the man goes to work and the woman stays home and she, you know, doesn't take care of herself as as you know maybe she should or um you know her life just gets super busy you know or she's just a mom or she, yeah she's, she's just more a than mom. just a mom she's a, she's she's an intelligent beautiful woman so so yeah. um you know and him and him taking care of himself and and working out and being his best for me and vice versa being my best for him um and and, and appearance and working out and um you know 
just health wise. Yeah, we, in we, we, we enjoy it. It's funny because I see you, it's, it's great because I really appreciate men that have that sweet, soft side because I see that from you. You know, t- you know, you look like a tough guy, and <laughs> I'm sure you could take on the best of them, but that's, that, that's what it takes living in both worlds because when you come home and you're with your, when you're with your wife, that's that's what you have to be. You have to, you know, you know, you could be doing a thousand business deals and whatever mm-hmm. it is, you know, you go and you take out the garbage. You go and you wash the dishes or whatever whatever it is, or you go walk the dog, and that's just about being. It's about being present, and really, it's not about it's not about you. So I'm sure it's about where's where's my wife because she's she holds down the whole house. Right? Absolutely correct. She's right? the CEO, CFO. Right. You name it, CMO, Chief right. Marketing Officer. You name it. She but I'm did. sure it came through a lot of journey, oh, a lot yeah. of it journey did. It did. together. And that's what I also want to bring out to the audience because I know even myself, many many um, points, and it's either like you said, evolve together. It's either it's either no, we're not going to evolve together, or we're going to evolve together. And and I really love it's really, and hopefully the audience will see this. And it just gives me hope. 21 years together. More and more, more and more people will stick, right? There's too much craziness in the world, but I find that that the more you family, you know, it's faith, it's family, it's, it's community. It, yeah, it's people commitment. are so it's easy today and being to to walk away. And I, I it is. They, oh, you know what? We don't. You argue? What do we argue? We do we, argue. We do argue. I'm a right, That's I'm what allowed. I was going to ask you. Yeah. Like, 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 and you're, I'm you're half together. Italian. Right. So I'm just thinking about that, like. So you're sitting there doing kind of you're together all the time. Um, so how does that play out? You guys probably do, right? It's like saying you do argue a lot, yeah, well, right? I always say we argue bickering. a lot, but we we have a elevated Bantering. elevated heated conversation where I voice becomes a little too loud and then she puts yeah. me in my place. Right. But but no, we 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 do when we do the videos. Um, we have these bloopers that people have asked us to put out because we make mistakes. We should. And <laughs> sh- sh- when she makes a mistake, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll fix it. I'm making. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Are you serious? Come on, get it together. No, and then she calls me by my last name. I'm right. not Steven anymore. Get it together, Costa. Let's go. You. That's, that's right. Put it together. Yeah, that well, no, that's you know. But I, I I love about that, and that's super important for all the guys out there to have an easy way. I always say, don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah. Right. You have to have an easy way and let things flow. Um, and 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 that's and that's what it is. There's the kids. The mother's doing everything. Right. So. So you got to know that you'll get you'll get that reward. You just have to be you have to be the man mm-hmm. and step up first, right? You have to step up first. It's yeah. super super important. If you're just joining us, you're listening to the Common Denominator podcast. Next week I'll chat with sleep expert and neurologist Dr. Meredith Broderick. If you're one of the millions of Americans who struggles falling asleep and staying asleep, Dr. Broderick will have expert strategies to holistically help you achieve a better night's rest. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Now, back to the show. And I love the story because here you are, you're doing this fun, passionate thing that you guys are doing, and now you're able to monetize, right? Yeah. So how did that, how did that like, like that first check you got or that first reach out? Tell us that story about that. Oh, when, we, when we had the first check, our eyes went like, we, we, if we t- show you what we made the first month, <laughs> it was like, oh my God. We were like, uh, hey, this is a business, we're going to stick to it. You know, the monetization for us, I think, is it's a great thing. But honestly, it's second for us. We we focus on our marriage. So if this comes along, yeah. it's great. So how do we monetize? Um, we get paid off of Facebook, Instagram. TikTok. So they reach out to you. So, yes. they, they, so they reach out to you. Will you promote this product or will you promote? No, it has nothing to do with the the product so much. It actually has to do with views, shares, and likes. That's just on... Um, So Facebook, the platform, actually, um, you'll get a check from Facebook, Mm. um, TikTok, Instagram, so on and so forth. Yeah, just by doing the videos. And then because of... Do you have to go to a certain category in order to do that? I think you have to have so many followers. So like on Instagram, I think it's like 10,000. Uh, Facebook, we had to go over 25,000. And they just send you, they just send you money. They yeah, do, they, right. you go in and you do as long as you comply with their oh. guidelines. Of, right, so mm. S- Stephen said he got in trouble. He went into Facebook jail. Right. So, oh, yeah. um, mm. you know, right. so he w- was defending my honor. And um, he got in trouble for it. He might have said some things that he shouldn't have said. So um, you do have a guideline of behavior that you must yeah. follow to be a part of the program. But once or you're be in the program, so you you'll make the monetization from the, the social media mm-hmm. company, and then then you get 
advertisements or reached out by manufacturers. So my wife, right, gorgeous woman, this manufacturing company, Lily, Lily, Lily Silk, Lily Silk, reached out to my wife and said, "Hey, we would like you to be a model for us, wearing X Y Z." So they sent her product and. She had to sign a little document. So instead, so think of this moving into our digital world. Instead mm -hmm. of, you know, where a model would go into a studio and get pictures taken, um, what if the brand actually sent out the product, said that I will buy your digital image, you just provide it for me, and then they can share it onto their platform. Right. You know, so um, it's just another avenue. Um, how they can save money and the manufacturer right. can save money, and and then we so we do it, and then. All the followers that we have look at my wife and say, "Okay, what shirt are you wearing? What shoes are you wearing? What, you know, what, what what are you eating?" So we have different people. Like the drink I'm drinking right now, um, one of the things we try not to do is be. I call it. I don't want to be a NASCAR sticker, right? I don't want to have bumper stickers and all over the place. So we we get approached by a lot of different right. products. So before we say. Steven likes or Lisa like is we try it. So but this drink I'm drinking here, yeah. I actually love it. It's 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 yeah. awesome. So So you're being you're being picky, that's great. That you yeah. get to you get to choose. And that's also what I want to hit home is uh is that there's so many areas and, and especially now, right? We have all the social media to you can monetize, live the best life that you can, having fun, mm -hmm. right? You're getting these checks in the mail. I'm always Whenever I always I think of uh, you know my main space is in the real estate space and I always you know to my investors like what would I want is just get this kind of like passive check giving it to my investors every month like that's great right that's great they're happy and and so you're able to you're able to do that I wanna I wanna just for people listening I wanna give kind of like some practical tips um, what what would you say if someone's from the photography standpoint if someone's camera shy any kind of ways to trick your mind to not because I, kn I know people beautiful people good but they they're just not into being on camera any any thoughts on that good lighting very yeah. good lighting good, <laughs> good lighting yeah. and i think practice right so right. get in front of the mirror and then so what i do for work is i present for work so i'll go to my wife and i do my presentation and she understands it and i say hey did this analogy work well and then when we do our skits, we go in front of our kids. But we go in front of the mirror and we like, hey, does this look together? We'll we'll take a practice video or practice shot and see how the angle. And my wife knows how to adjust the lights a certain way or Steven stand this way. Or if she's wearing blue jeans, I should wear white jeans. Or if she's wearing white jeans, I wear blue jeans. So she makes it look. And I think those are things that dress how you would normally go. But then... She has really good input. But on I would take practice. I would say practice as well in front of the camera. I right. mean, you know, when I go, when I used to shoot um, weddings, you know, I would always want to shoot the the bride and the groom prior to the wedding, so they're not mm -hmm. camera shy with me. They need to feel comfortable. They need to feel comfortable in front of the camera. So if that's just doing some practice rounds, taking some selfies, something to make you feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, and then yeah. two, you can self correct. Um, you know. Um, certain things you'll you'll notice that even if it's your makeup or your clothing that you don't like and you know yeah. or, and, and, you're in and your not, own house and not worry because yeah. your critics will probably <laughs> say something to the you. funny part is when we go do our tiktoks out in public when we're in our house it's okay but then we're out in public people always want to they're looking at us weird and yeah. we're moving the camera we're going here then we're waiting for them to go past so they won't be in the shot but we like i said yeah. we have fun doing it yeah no is it like um would you take, are you, are you are you filming kind of doing stuff every day? Or is it that, okay, today we're going to block out these four hours and we're just going to just gonna knock out a bunch of videos? Yeah. Well, uh, is that kind of the schedule? Yeah, uh, well, we have, well, I work full right. time and then I coach the children's sports teams and we're heavily involved in their lives. So we, we plan like a, a Saturday or Sunday and we'll do like four or five videos on a, in one day, sometimes there's two. In the beginning, it was just one. We would yeah. just do just It would one. take us that long to that do just, just one. one. <laughs> <laughs> so. Now we can do like five yeah. in probably three or four hours. Yeah, and we knock them out and and so, and so people are like, well, how do you do that? Well, if I'm driving in the car, she'll send me, hey, we're gonna do this skit. So instead of listening to Bloomberg or this and that, I'm listening to the skit she wants me to do. So when I come home, 
I'm monetizing our time for this. She has my outfits picked out, blah, 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 blah. That's great. We're good to go. Yeah, no, I I, uh, I also noticed also, I, you know, from, from the research that I'm seeing kind of about social media, different platforms also, they have, I guess, seem, seem different algorithms. I, what's the, you know, for some, let's say, content creator listening now, how do, we, how do you know, let's just say, Facebook Reels, Instagram, TikTok, what do you find is kind of um, a, like, kind of the best platform to be on for, I guess, monetizing and, or just in general? Well, I think for our age group, you know, I'm 40, he's 51. Um, I think Facebook, we reach out to a lot of people. However, Facebook is like church. Too, it is. It is the most conservative platform that we've noticed, um, for sure. Mm -hmm. TikTok is extremely liberal. Mm -hmm. um, anything mm -hmm. goes. Um, anything. Oh yeah, I call everything a tick. So I'm sorry for my. I call everything a TikTok, but I do notice that on some platforms, um, this reel I, we think is like, oh, this is awesome. This is going to go great, and it just does okay. But then on this platform, for some reason, it just. Goes. We, up, yeah. yeah, we just did one the other day, and it was a Seinfeld episode, and we're like, mm -hmm. "Oh, this isn't gonna go." And it's almost had a million views. Yeah, uh, and wow. Well, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's been shared <laughs> so many times, and we and, couldn't believe. Yeah. Usually, when you can Amazing. when you see that the sharing of the video is starting so to um, exceed the likes. No, not exceed the likes. The comments. Uh, the comments. That's it. Exceed the comments. Exceed okay. the comments. You know, it's going to be a good one. Yeah. So wow. that's yeah. kind of once we start see the trend of yeah. it sh being shared more than it being commented on, you know, it's mm. going to mm. to be good. And then sometimes what we'll do is we'll. Pull Put, a lot of times, if you look at Steve and Lisa's videos, what we put on TikTok is what we put on Instagram. We put on Instagram is what we put on Facebook. But sometimes we'll put this one out here first to see kind of how it does. And if it does well here, then maybe the next day we'll put it over there. And Right. So, so on my Instagram, I think uh, more like fashion, um, mm -hmm. hair styles. Oh, yeah, we, so we have... D do better on Instagram. Facebook is Steve and Lisa. TikTok is Steve and Lisa. Instagram, we have separate accounts. So it's just, we just did that. There was no, people like, why? Well, that's just how we did it. It was, that's how we did it, was, it yeah. There was no reason behind it. It was no, you know, it was just how it came about. And do, you, do you guys do any, I know there's like people that kind of study the algorithms and stuff where you just, in other words, you just, let me just put stuff out the best we can. And I know, is because there a science to it or? Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm sure there is a science to mm -hmm. it. All right. Um, and you're right. A lot of people will say you need to stick with one, like uh, just our comedy, just yeah. do comedy. Just That's what comedy. people want. But it's, then we have so many people that like our fitness yeah. and the makeup, and then and people know, like the, da we the get dancing. So yeah, that's sure, people so, send us videos. Hey, can you guys do this song? And we're like, okay, you know. Right. So we 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 we. So, just, so you're getting a lot of suggestions mm -hmm. of content to people, yeah. right? And we just have fun And we doing have it. to have fun to do it. I, 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 we go I back, we said how many times already in the past half hour, we, we have fun. Right, yeah. and and mm -hmm. I don't want to be stuck in a box where we sh we have to stick to this because then it be it doesn't become, it doesn't, it's not know, it's genuine. Not fun. Yeah, and it's not genuine. Yeah, sure. So, so I, I uh, and I always ask this, and each of you maybe might be a different answer, but what's something, uh, Steve, Lisa, that you guys are, come top of your head that you're grateful for? What's well, like, Something. I'm grateful for my wife. I was gonna say I'm grateful for him. That that's amazing. <laughs> there you go. I was. Right, have say. each other. That's. Yeah. yeah. You know, knock on wood, as they say. So and uh, and also, what's something that that uh, I guess the audience or people don't know about you? Um, that I was actually a basketball player in college on a full ride. Wow. <laughs> there you go. What position? Point guard? Or? Point guard, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. On a yo-yo. Yes. Uh, yes. Basketball. Wow. So that is definitely everybody thinks I'm a cheerleader. Oh yeah. But awesome. no, I I was quite the job. Like yeah. Awesome. And I want to just tell you this has been um eye opening hopefully we gave gave some good quality tips for the for the audience how to monetize but more importantly for me um what whenever I s you know sit together with um with a couple that have been together for a long time and I'm seeing the energy, it, it really inspires me and hopefully inspires the audience. And they should know, they should know to stick it out and be resilient and um, it will create a lot of meaning and purpose. How can uh, people 
uh, follow you on social and and uh, you know learn more about, about the things that you're doing? Yeah, great question. So I mean, if you go to different platforms, so if you go to Facebook, you search for Steve Lisa Costa, you'll you'll find us and. You have a question? Message us. We we try. We to always answer respond, to and that's everyone. another big thing with social media is that right. you just can't put out content. You have to be able to connect, and when people reach out to you, you need to be able to have the time to respond because if they're giving you the time to watch your video, you should, you know, and you, they want to know something. I always think it's respectful to to respond to them. Yeah, yeah. we, we get we get a lot of requests. I mean, I get guys ask me like, "Hey, where do I shop?" And I joke around and say, "Oh, whatever my wife picks out for me," but. No, it's, it's it's true. We we we. I go to certain stores. People want to know. I'm an older guy. I'm, oh, just I'm over fifty, and so it's like we respond, we answer, and so whether it's Instagram right. or TikTok, people message us and we respond. Right. No, I see the response is always like a healthy relationship, right? Someone's someone's taking their time. You you should always always try to respond. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. It probably takes and as you're. Social media is growing. It takes yes. more and more time. Oh, it, we a lot it of messages. A lot of messages. I'm a sure. A lot of messages. I'm sure. But and we have uh, to weed through a lot of them because, you know, like I said, there's. No, I definitely appreciate it. Really been amazing and inspiring. Thank you. No, thank, thank you for having thank us. You. This thank you. Thank awesome. you for having us. Thank you so much. Next week, I'll speak with sleep expert Dr. Meredith Broderick. She'll explain how she uses a holistic approach to help her patients and potentially help you finally get a good night's sleep. And she'll discuss the benefits of napping, and why we, as a society, should embrace it. Please subscribe to the show so you don't miss an episode, and follow me on social media at mpopak. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you again soon.